Okay, in this problem we're asked to calculate the gradient vector of this function at the point x t omega equals negative 2 comma pi over 2 comma 1. So just to simplify this, we're going to let the numerator equal a function f of x t omega. And we're going to do the same with the denominator. We're going to let that be g of x t omega. And now we just want to calculate the gradient vector. Of f over g which we know using the quotient rule. Is given as g times the gradient vector of f minus f times the gradient vector of g all over g squared. So to find the gradient vector of f, we can just do that quickly. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is 1. Partial derivative of f with respect to t is going to be cosine t plus pi omega. And then the partial derivative of f with respect to omega is going to be pi times the cosine of t times, or co, pi times the cosine of t plus pi omega. And the gradient vector of g we can calculate in the same manner. And we get that the gradient vector of g is equal to 1 comma negative sine times t, or sine of t plus pi omega, uh, comma negative pi sine of t plus pi omega. And now we want to calculate this at the point negative 2 pi halves 1. So we see that the gradient vector of f at negative 2 pi halves 1 is going to be 1 and we see that that's 1 cosine 3 pi over 2 pi cosine 3 pi over 2. Both of these terms are just 0. So we get the gradient vector of f with respect to, the, or at the point negative 2 pi halves 1 is equal to 1, 0, 0. And we do the same with g. And we see that we get the gradient vector is 1 comma 1 pi. So I'll just
Okay, so we see that in our gradient function, function or gradient vector that we want to calculate, we have our gradient vector of f at the point and our gradient vector of g at the point. All that remains is to calculate g at the point and f at the point. So let's calculate f of negative 2 pi halves 1, plug in to the function. We get negative 2 plus sine times 3 pi over 2, which sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So we get f, of the, f at the point is equal to the value of negative 3. We'll calculate g. And we get that cosine, or we get negative 2 plus the cosine of 3 pi over 2. And that's, that, the second value is just 0. So we get the value of g at the point negative 2 pi halves 1 is equal to negative 2. So we can So we can now use all of the data that we've calculated so far to calculate the gradient vector of f over g, which is what we wanted to calculate in the beginning. So we can plug in our data. We have g of, at the point is negative 2 times the gradient vector of f, which is 1, 0, 0. And f at the point is equal to negative 3 which turns the minus into a positive, times the gradient vector 1, 1 pi. Divided by the square of g at the point, which is negative 2 squared. And we get that. the gradient vector, or we have the vector negative 2 plus 3, comma 3, comma 3 pi, all over the value 4. And we get 1 fourth times the vector 1, 3, 3 pi, which is our final answer.